guys so it is january oh well welcome back to the channel you guys it's ashley sharice here and it's january 14th it's a saturday and i'm about to start editing this vlog so yeah i'm about to just edit this video though well this current video that you guys are watching i'm about to edit it because i just uploaded the clips onto my phone let's edit it i used the blo to edit my videos with on my phone for now that's what we use yes sir do i look tired i feel like i do i look tired i need to go to bed i need to go to bed but i'm just about to edit and yeah that's it. so hey guys i washed my sewing that's something i never thought that i would be saying that i did but indeed I did do that. So as y'all saw, I sat underneath the um the head dryer for a little bit and the weave dried some more it's not soaking anymore it dried some so i'm about to take my blow dryer and get to blow drying hey you guys so i feel like i can tell i just woke up i kind of look like i just woke up but i'm here because of I'm here to do something with you guys. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys about it, okay? So, I would say on, was it Tuesday night? Um, I was talking to my friend and I never told you guys this before, but um, back in 2021, the devil like deceived me with a lie and I believed it for like quite a long time. I believed it for a year until maybe until like the summer of 2022 i believe this lie and point being is that i was talking to my friend and i was telling him about um that i wanted to keep the uh letters and the journal entries that i wrote in my journal about this particular thing because i was like oh i want to keep them because it reminds me like of what the lord did for me and stuff then last night i went to church and the pastor was on point you guys and i'm sorry i just took my earring out and i'm trying to find the back piece i done lost the back piece y'all but okay so let me just take the other earring out yeah so i went to church last night and pastor and pastor was on point he was definitely on point and something that he said caused me to be like okay i don't need these journal entries so i'm about to go back to my notes so i can show you guys so i can tell you guys what he said that was like girl you don't need them journal entries and letters and stuff he said stop breathing life into your past stop entertaining the tragedy and he said let it die so that you might live again and it's not that i think about that and it's like painful but I personally feel like that's a part of my past that I really, like, I don't need to keep reliving. Like, yeah, I think about it and I'm like, yes, grateful to the Lord for how far he's brought me. But I don't think that I need to keep these. Like, I feel like I need to let it die. Like, it has happened. It passed. Move along. So, I have all three of my little journals right here. The journal entries are mainly in these two mainly in this one y'all because this is my main journal from uh last year and the year before but yeah we have all three journals here and together we are about to either cut the pages out if i can because i have i've wrote like about other things in these journals not just that so if there's something else on like the other page then i'm not going to cut the pages out i'm just going to cross it out it seems like i'm going to be doing a lot of just crossing out because oh no oh my gosh y'all help me i'm using a whole super sharpie marker to do this and look at what it just did oh my god 
Wait. Oh my gosh. I can cut this page out because I don't. That part on the other side is not even important. So we can cut this page out. Just let me get my scissors. You got to snip, snip, snip. We got the scissors. And I'm not about to keep y'all the whole time. Um, I just wanted to say a little bit about this. Because basically, I just wanted to say, like, if there's a part of your past that you feel like you're holding on to because you're like, oh, um, because you're like, oh, you feel like you're thinking about it from a positive perspective, I just want to say, let lot go. Let the past go. Stop dragging it along with you. Even if you feel like you're thinking about whatever it is from a positive standpoint, you don't need it. Like, if it's letters, if it's, like, if it's a past relationship and it's letters or pictures or messages from that last relationship, let them go, honey bunch. Seriously. Let them go because there's no need to keep, no need to keep it with you. No need, no need, no need. And I'm doing this, you guys, and realizing, like, because I can't, you know, scrib like, I can't cut out everything. So I'm just scribbling things out. I even thought about getting a new journal and, like, rewriting my journal entries in it. Like, not, obviously not, um, like, rewriting everything aside from that. Now, obviously not at one time. It would obviously be day by day because I wrote a lot of stuff. Like, this journal is almost finished. It's not finished yet, but this is how much I've written in it. So, and this is how much is left. So, it would take a while for me to rewrite, but I'm like thinking maybe I should rewrite and then toss this journal. So, I don't know because I think I'm about to stop for now because that rewriting it is actually a pretty good idea. The whole message is just to let the past go. I know it can be hard. I know the devil can try to make you feel like, you know, to hold on to something and try to give you a reason to hold on to something. But really let the past go because it's called the past for a reason. Philippians 3.13, I, I, I don't know what verbatim, but that's my scripture. To Paul said, he said he has not necessarily grabbed a hold of it yet. But what he tries to do is to forget the past and look forward to the goal ahead. Look forward to the future and be in the present also and not looking at your past. Because yes, God wants us to be grateful for the things that he has done for us, but I feel like he doesn't want us to just reminisce about the past all the time. It's okay to think about it and be like super grateful to God because of course, like I was saying, if you're holding on to a relationship that you know that you're never gonna be back in, but you still have the messages, you still have the pictures, delete those messages, delete those pictures, if you are holding on to, like me, a lie that you believe from the enemy and you wrote about it in your journal, you, I don't know, recorded videos about it, you did other things like delete all those things, get rid of all of those things and really start anew. Like, I just wanted to say that this also includes past disappointments, uh, past failures. It includes all of those things because the devil can easily try to get us to focus on the past no matter what the situation was in 2023 the lord really wants us to start anew and really be on a new thing so that's just my little word for y'all this morning okay so i think that's going to be the end of the video because the video probably long now that i added this in it so Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.